hello guys welcome back to another Android studio tutorial in today's episode we are going to learn about how to forcing an app chooser for an Android application here I use the same example used in the previous episode here we have application A application B and application C available on this virtual device and here application A and application C contain some activities that share the same intent filter name so if I start an activity using the same intent filter name, there is an intent filter collision occur and the Android system will choose will show an app chooser. So now I start application B. So here is a button that start an activity. I click the button. So here the Android system issue an app chooser that contain activity 3 and activity 2. Here activity 3 is available in application C and activity 2 is available in application A. Here activity 3 and activity 2 share the same intent filter name. So here there is an intent filter collision occur that's why the Android system will show this dialog. So from this dialog the user can select the default selection by selecting the always button and he just select option for only this time by selecting this button just once button. So I select activity 3 and click just once so this will create this will show an activity available in application C so I click the button again I click the same button again now I select activity 3 activity 2 and click always so now it will start an activity available in application A so if I again click the button the Android system will not show the dialog again because it is save the default selection by the user and if you still if you still want to show the dialog again you have to create your own app chooser in your application that means you have to force the Android system to show the dialog again so here I am going to add an app chooser into this application this is application B and here is the target intent this is an implicit intent that use the same intent filter name so this intent filter this intent filter name is same for an activity available in application A and application C. So before going to start the activity using this target intent, here I am going to create another intent object. I name the object as chooser. Chooser equal to intent dot create chooser this method need two argument first one is the target intent and the second argument is a title for the app chooser so here the target intent is intent so I use intent now we have to provide a title for the app chooser choose an application okay now instead of start the activity using the target intent here I am going to use the intent object that contain the app chooser. So here the object name is chooser. Now if I run this application, this is application B, if I run this application again it will show the dialog always. So I will run the project now. Ok now here I am going to click the button and here is an intent filter collision occur and there is an app chooser is now available so here there is no option for the user to select a default option because there is the always button and only once button is not available so there is no option for the user to select the default option so this will ensure that this dialog always appear so I select activity 3 this will show an activity available in application C I hope you understand this concept. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.